Fellow Nipsey Hustle, check me out. You in trouble, check me out. Pay us Really, my main focus been on um, re up on the music. I've been in the studio real heavy. You know, I got a chance since I left my first situation at Epic, which was like um, early 2011. And, you know, I had a chance to just rebuild. And, um, you know, I got to tour the world. You know, we dropped a few mixtapes that connected with with a, with a group of people. And I, I got to speak directly to them over the last couple years. And they've been holding me down, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I felt like coming back from a... Uh, my last tour, we went, you know, all of Europe, all of Japan, the whole United States. I got back and I felt like at this moment it was about really delivering some classic quality music. Because I, I saw my fan base growing. I saw certain individuals that, you know, weren't connected with my music originally starting to connect. And I started to see it reaching a, a critical mass. And I felt like the time it was right to really just stop doing shows, stop bleeding the block, sit down and really focus on delivering a classic project. One of the things about being on a major label is you booked, you got things to do back to back to back. And a lot of times it's like get your music done in between everything else. And that worked because you, you get a, an, an exposure, you know what I mean? But sometimes it's just about turning your phone off and working and doing the music. We living in a new era where, for example, I don't got cable TV, I watch the internet. Majority of my content come from on-demand outlets, YouTube, Netflix, this is where I go to get my thing, or the blogs. And I got a cell phone that can connect me to the world like everybody else do. And so I think what that created is what, you know, they call like a global underground. Cause I'm not, a ma I'm not what you call a mainstream artist. We ain't on every mainstream outlet, but it's a global following. And we can go around the world and, and see that. And so my thing was to leverage that to create a new type of deal. You know what I mean? That, that's different than the standard paperwork that they're gonna offer you off being a hot artist that got potential to sell. So my main focus was to leverage the global underground to create an unprecedented type of situation. I'm thinking about my people, you know, like I said, my supporters. And that, that's that's what I'm doing this for. I didn't I ain't gonna lie, I've been in the mindset of trying to, you know, uh, please the label and done, I've been there before and my my Eureka moment, you know what I'm saying, when the light bulb came on was like, them is middlemen, no disrespect. All of these outlets are middlemen to the people. You know what I'm saying? So if you if your process is from your creativity to the people and your, your, your strategy is that, I think you're good. And when I think about what's the best thing for the people, is to deliver this project first, set the tour up, you know what I mean? Go get in front of them, do my job and, and, and satisfy them. And then we sit back down and, you know what I mean? And on top of that, you know, my value gonna go up a little bit more. Big shout out to Revolt, neighborhood.